Good morning, welcome in the next episode and today we are going to a trip. I'm taking the 86 and a bunch of guys and we are going to visit Philip. As you remember, Philip is the guy that helped us build a drift go-kart, Kevin go-kart. Super cool guy and today is his birthday so we're gonna surprise him with coming to his place. In his place we have a plan to do something super super cool so stay tuned and yeah, welcome to the episode. A gdzie ma trening? No tu. Ale jaki trening? No taki... Ale tu jakiś driftik jest? No driftik jest. Podskoczymy się przywitać, co? No, to ja tylko zatankuję. Nie wiem jak to jest, ale sam mam wygodniejszą pozycję. We stopped to uh, tank up some petrol in a random petrol station and there is some drifting going on just next to it. I'm gonna go and check it out. So random. Okay, uh, we stopped on the to go to the shop. Yeah. Okay, we're stopping to eat. Dobre? Proszę, I teraz dwa lecisz, Jeden dla mnie też. O kurde. Nie jest taki mały, jak pani mówi. Mała lewaria. Okej, uh -huh. we almost there. I think it's like 10 more minutes from here to Philip. The burger was good, but just like we were driving all day. Made it! It was a long drive, no? Yeah, my ass is still vibrating, so it's gonna probably... Yeah, my ass is good because I'm on a fresh seat, man. Look at this. How's yours? Ugh. Ugh. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Jak tam? Cześć, Wojtek. Cześć. Siemanko. Ooh, nice hoodie, man. Thank you. Cześć, zdrówka, dużo byczku, zdrówka, jeszcze zdrówka. Dziękuję. Proszę, tu masz takie kurwa dziwne rzeczy. Zdrówka, mordiaty. Zdróweczka. Ja tu. What this? Nie. Are you, are you pirate? You pirate? Yes. I really love being here. Dobra, Damn boy! So this is Philips S13 that was stuck in front of his house for... Jak to go to Stout Auto? Four years. And wasn't driving for four years. And it's gonna be driving today. That's the plan. To teraz tam nie ma wiązki w ogóle, czy jak to jest? No, na silnikowej, nie? Nie ma silnikowej. Czyli to jest, bo to jest świeżo, świeżo wrzucony silnik, po prostu jest wrzucony... To jest wrzucony... z piętnastki, to jest też, też takie małe utrudnienie, nie? Uh -huh. Wolnosący silnik z piętnastki, ta wiązka jest troszkę inna, uh -huh. ale... Andrzej ogarnie. Kto jak nie Andrzej? No tak. Ty uzecik będzie? Ja z tyłu zawieszenie Tu jest zawieszenie S14. Bozo, this is your style. My style, yeah. <laughs> uh, so the quick story about the car that we're gonna work on. This is Philip's uh, private car. He has it for many years and about four years ago engine blew up. And since then the car was standing just here next to, next to his garage. Since then he had couple ideas for different engines and it ended up getting SR20 
DE from S15. This is the engine that's under the hood now, but the engine was just put there and no further work was done. And because today is Philip's birthday, we decided to come here and help him finalize the swap of this car so we can finally start it today and we can have a he can have a ride with his own car that he had for many years and didn't drive for last four years which is I think super cool the car's gonna get a new harness with ECU upgraded brakes and you know a couple little things around the swap to make it all work and we wanted to work today so we arrived half an hour ago and we want this car to drive by tomorrow so it seems like we're gonna stay here overnight do some work have some drinks and have a good fun that's the plan also the fact that I could drive this again is super cool I just love driving this thing are working there and I need to stay here and edit another episode of Daily Dose of Nitrate for you guys so here it is okay basically this is our gift uh, to Philip because last time we were here we were building go-kart and Philip didn't have a shovel to like clean around I don't know if you've seen the video uh, and since he only like Milwaukee stuff so we bought him a red shovel and now he's gonna have Milwaukee shovel. Okay, the car is working, it's late, I'm going to sleep. See you tomorrow. Okay, we just woke up and uh, I think the boys didn't even go sleep by looking at what's going on in the bottom. The whole floor is vibrating because they're revving the car downstairs. It's kind of cool. Oh man, look at the weather. Damn. This is a spy? Ah. Jak tam? Okay, I think uh, one more thing we need to do before leaving here is to do burnout with this car or at least take it for a spin. Oh, actually, wait, look at this. So, Bozo's, Bozo's Pharaon, his FDRX7 is not Bozo's anymore. So, Philip took it here to fix it and he ended up buying it. And he's gonna build a safari out of it, apparently. So, this thing is not ours anymore. You're not, you're not gonna see it on our channel being restored, sadly. Um, but it's for the good reason because Bozo actually bought another one of these working one. So it's gonna come, it's gonna come pretty soon. Okay, we're supposed to, we're supposed to drive home, but drive home. But Adam actually realized uh, something. I don't know how he noticed these things. Look at the the caliper. The caliper in my 86 uh, seems to be seems to be loose, so we're gonna quickly put it on a lift and uh, fix it. Better. 
Okay, made it back to Philippian back. It's 500 kilometers. I checked, so just made this uh, bit of a road trip in this car. And not a second I had the thought that I should have taken another car, you know, normal car. It was so enjoyable to drive this thing. Okay, <sighs> back to business. Today's Sunday. There's not much to do here, to be honest. Kuba is coming to keep working on the exhaust header that I showed on the last video. This thing is looking so amazing. Also, um, a couple of people in the comments were asking where's the S13, where is uh, C Lady, because it's not around here anymore. I'm not really happy with this engine, so what we did is we drove it to the tuner. Uh, Michal Klasa is, is a guy that tuned my Miata before, and he said he can sort out this engine to finally be working you know, the way it should. And yesterday I had a bit of conversation with the guys, and um, to be honest, I don't know if I won't sell this car, uh, the S13. It's a super cool car and like we spent a lot of time to build it here and like engine swap, everything. But now since I have the 86, I don't think I'll be using the S13 too often because like whenever I need to go, I'll just take the, the Corolla. So don't really know if there's any point of just keeping the car just for the sake of, you know, own it. I don't know. For now, I'm just considering and thinking about the options. I have some ideas what I could do if I sell this car, but yeah, let's just see how it goes. Also, another thing that I actually forgot to show you is uh, this piece. Um, when Adam was taking this car apart, the rear window that was here accidentally broke. Um, Adam was trying to get rid of the, the wipers motor and the window just, just broke in a thousand pieces. We were a bit concerned about getting a rear glass for the Skyline. We couldn't find any. The only thing we found was a company in UK that made those. Um, whoa. Okay, okay, I got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Oh, that was a bit sketchy. Oh. Uh, we found a company that make those from plastic. I don't know what kind of plastic really it is. Um, poly, all right, it says here, clear polycarbonate, four millimeters. Um, it's something like this. It's already cut out to the shape of R32, and as you can see, it's already shaped. It's not a flat piece, it actually fits perfectly um, with the car. So this is a big relief because for a long time we couldn't find any glass. And I think my filming here is done. Again, it's supposed to be a daily dose of nitrite, but we went to Philip's place and everything just got south. You probably noticed that this video that you're watching right now is not a one day video, it's a yesterday and today. But I think I still try to make it into the daily dose of nitrite series and have another one for tomorrow. That'll be interesting. Thank you very much for watching and see you tomorrow.